hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe and turn on notification bell so that you'll be notified on when i drop the next episode on joda feel free to tell us what you want on the comment section and stay tuned on today's episode sangram has gone back to his state everything is going well in the castle joda and jalal's wedding anniversary is near jalal says she was beautiful Jada says, keep saying it, I'm not jealous. Jalal says, it's not your name that's in my heart. She laughs. Jalal says, I love your smile. He says, something is near. She says, what? He says, you don't remember. Jada says, is this something that's important? And Akali wipes her tears. She says, I don't need these tears anymore. Salim says, I will talk to my parents about our union on their wedding anniversary. She says, but. He says, let me look at your face. I returned after so long. Anakali hugs him. Aram says to Salima, I will gift them a sword on their wedding anniversary. Hamida says, wow, you have gotten smarter. Joda comes in and says, what are you talking about? Aram says, we are talking about the gift. Joda says, what are you going to gift? She says, I won't tell you. Aram says, I heard you took rounds around fire. Joda says, that is a ritual in Hindu wedding. She says, I wanted to attend your wedding. Joda says, you were not here back then. Aram says, why don't you get married again? I will love it. Hamida says, the idea is good. Salima says, yes, she is right. We want to see your wedding again. Hamida says, I will talk to Jalal about it. He will agree, I'm sure. Joda says, what are you saying, Amijan? Hamida says, I'm your mother-in-law and I have decided this. Jalal talks to Joda about the idea of wedding on their wedding anniversary. She laughs and says, okay. He says, I will come to you with the barat and take you again. Joda says, I am going to the temple. Joda says, Prasad gives Prasad to the poor people in the temple. She gives it to a lady. When she looks at Joda, it's Laboni. Joda is shocked. Joda says, you? I thought you were dead. Laboni says, the, le the Laboni who wanted to destroy you is dead. Please pardon me. I'm a new person now. I want to apologize to you. Joda takes her hand and says, go from here. I don't want to see you. Laboni holds her feet and says, please don't do this. Pardon me. My body is burnt. I don't want born in my sin. Joda says, take the punishment. You have to live like this. Laboni says, if you don't pardon me, I will be like this forever. Please forgive me, she cries. Joda says, don't do this. I have forgiven you. It's my wedding anniversary tomorrow, so in the name of my love, I pardon you. She says, I am Jalal's culprit too. Can I come there tomorrow? I will ask for pardon from him. I want to pray for you. I lost my mom. My body is burned. I just want to be a good woman now. But if you don't allow me, I haven't gotten your complete passion. Joda says, okay, you can come. Laboni says, really, you do? Joda says, okay, you can. Laboni says, is it a dream? Joda says, it's reality. You can come tomorrow. Laboni says, you gave me peace. Thank you so much. Joda leaves. Next day, Joda gets Mendy on her hands. Monty says, why did you ask her to come? Joda says, she was crying. She regrets what she did. Monty says, you are so generous. People take advantage of it. Monty says, well, if that makes you happy, then let it be this way. Jalal comes in. Moti stops him and says, sorry, but you can't go in. Jalal says, you know what you are saying. Moti says, you are about to get married to her. You can't meet her before wedding. Jalal says, what if I don't agree? Joda says, Moti, come here. She whispers something. Moti says, you asked to do wedding again. She says, then, you have to follow the rituals. Jalal says, can I see her face? Because I can't sleep without seeing her face. Joda says, then, you have to stay up all night. Haida's uncle is to get murdered against Salim. That all have sidelined you. You have to do something. Hamida, Salima comes to Joda. Aram says, I'll give to Joda. She gives Joda a sword. Salima says, I pray that you remain happy always. Hamida gives dress to Joda. Hamida asks Rukaya, will you not congratulate Joda? Rukaya congratulates her and says, who can gift Joda? She is a special wife of Jalal. How can anyone gift her? Joda says she is right. You all are with me and that's enough. Rukaya says, but I have to follow rules. She gifts Joda. Salima says to Joda that your mendy color is very dark, like your love. Hamida says, Joda is my daughter. I will attend marriage from Joda's side. I will do her kaya dan too. Joda gets emotional and hugs her. 
Salima says, then I will come from Judah's side too. Rukia says, will Jalal go alone then? I will come from Jalal's side. All smile. Salima Salim makes Jalal wear turban. Salim says, you're looking nice. Jalal says, you'll wear it soon too. I and Judah have decided to do your marriage with man soon. Let Bagwan come near. Salim thinks I can't marry man, but how will I tell Jalal? Jalal says, when I got married to Judah, I used to hate her. Then she loved me and changed my hatred into love. If your mother had, to, had not come into my life, then you wouldn't have been here. Love is very important in life. I had hearts before too, but she made it beat. She gave life to my heart. Salim says, so love is everything. Jalal says, yes, love is everything. It makes you live nicely. It gives you reason to live. Salim thinks that that means I have to tell about my love to everyone. Joda is getting ready as a pride. Salima says, you're looking very nice. Aram puts black spots on her ears and says, evil eyes will not fall on you. Aram asks, when will I become a bride? Salima says, where is your groom? Aram says, I don't know. She asks Joda to tell my groom not to have white horse, but brown horse. Joda and Salima laughs. Jalal comes to the venue with Rukaya, Muria, Daniel, Salim, and others. Hamida does their ati and tilak. Jalal comes in Mandia. Priest asks to call bride. Hamida and Salima bring Joda. She is in veil and slightly glances at Jalal. Both smile at each other. Jalal recalls how he first saw her in Palanguin. Hamida makes Joda stand beside Jalal and says, I'm giving my most precious to you. Take care of her. Jalal says, don't worry. Your most precious is the most precious gift to me. I will take care of her all my life. I will give her all the happiness. Judah shyly smiles. She sits in Mandap. Anakali comes there. She smiles at Salim. Salim thinks that soon we will marry too. Anakali thinks I want to marry you, Salim, but I get scared if it will ever happen or not. Salim thinks soon I will marry you. Jalal asks Judah, do you remember gift? Judah says, I didn't forget it. But you should also not forget. Jalal smiles. Judah imagines Laboni there. She holds, she nods to Judah. Judah says to Jalal that don't get angry on me. She was repenting so much and she has got punishment for her deeds. She was asking forgiveness and I didn't forgive her. Then it would look bad. So I forgive her and she has come here. Okay guys, thank you for watching today's episode on Judah Agba. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and Stay tuned for more updates. Bye.